Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Simprosis. In this video, we are going to see what are ads labels and how to assign them in our app. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing and press the bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Let's see ads label. Ads label are used to create dynamic remarketing ads of particular group of products only. Unfortunately, custom labels don't work for product grouping in the dynamic remarketing campaigns. In ads label there is only one label which you can assign unlike custom label which has five options. You can create specific dynamic remarketing campaign for specific group of products which has been assigned the same ads label value. For example, if you are selling t-shirts and you know that when you run dynamic remarketing ads for polo t-shirt sale conversion rate is higher but it not same for round collar t-shirt. So in this case you can specifically assign ads label to polo t-shirt to run dynamic remarketing ads on them rather running ads on all t-shirts. Let's see an example on how to apply ads label in our app. Please go to manage products and filter your products according to your requirement. Click on product type and select t-shirts. Now you don't want to run dynamic remarketing ads on all t-shirts but only on polo t-shirts. In this case you can search polo shirts and filter them. Select all polo shirts and click do edit in bulk and select ads label. Give any suitable name you like. For example polo ads label. Click on apply in bulk and click ok. You can also confirm if the label is assigned or not by clicking the product. You can also assign ads label vendor wise. Click on filter product and then vendor and select your vendor name. Now you can even filter products further. For example you want to only assign ads label to only those products with hats in title. Simply type hats in the search bar and filter them. Now select all products and click on select all 189 products as we want to assign filter on all the products. Click do edits in bulk and assign ads label. Give it a name for example hats ads label. Click on apply in bulk and click ok. Please confirm if the label is applied by clicking on the title. After assigning the ads labels, you need to wait between 1 to 4 hours for the labels to appear in Google AdWords depending on the products submitted. After waiting for, around 4 hours. As you can see in the screenshot here of AdWords, while creating a display ad. You will see the option label and under dynamic ads. Select filter option. You will find labels option. Please remember like custom labels, you won't be able to see all your ad labels created. But you will have to manually type in the name, on which label you want to run dynamic ads. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube, that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. Please refer to our other related help videos. See you again in another video.